Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to tell you six changes to our grocery budget in 2023. Let's get started and talk about it. I do want to mention this first. In a few weeks, I will be doing another video comparing the last several years and what we had spent for groceries each year and kind of breaking it down and doing a quick little analysis. I did do a little bit of that. I actually didn't spend as much this year as I thought I would have, which is positive, but I did not stick to the lower grocery budget every single month. My grocery budget for 2000. 21 was 450 a month. Well, I stuck to that most of the time, but my grocery budget for 2022, I wanted to challenge myself was 425 a month. There were some months I came under budget, some months I was right at budget, but there were several months I went over. Why did I go over budget? I'm going to sum this up really quick. Number 1, poor planning. 2, convenience foods. 3, impulse buys sum it up there in a nutshell for you. So I'm actually going to give myself a larger amount for 2023. And I won't reveal the reason for that right now, but you'll be finding out more about that in the next few weeks. I'm going to allow our family to spend 500 a month for all food. Now, I can't go over that amount at all. That has to be it. If I have leftover from the month before, if I want to use that, that's fine. But this is what I'm going to do to change it. First of all, I'm going to do more meal prep. Yes, I do meal prep, but there's weeks where I don't cook as much. And so we're like scrambling for something to eat. We try to throw something together. I might be making all different types of big pots of stew and soup. I saw this fabulous cabbage soup recipe that looked really good. I love cabbage soup. Don't know if you guys do. And some really hearty soups because you can eat on that stuff all week if you make a great big pot of it. And I can eat the same thing every day and never get tired of it. So number one, more meal prep. Number two, which sounds like it contradicts number one, more ready to eat foods just to have. It could be soup in a can when it's on sale. I'm not saying we need to have a huge amount of it, but at least have a couple of these things so that if you don't have anything prepared, it'd be something quick to heat and eat, if that makes sense. Number three, I generally always go to Aldi. Well, the Aldi near us now closes earlier, which isn't always convenient. So I'm going to probably be going to more of a variety of stores, which means more of a variety of products. Number four, only one store per week. The reason I say this is if I go to two stores, like I go to Aldi and Kroger, maybe I buy something at Target, what ends up happening is, is I end up spending more money. So this last week, I wanted to go holiday Christmas shopping. I didn't go to Aldi. First of all, Aldi was closed, and I would have had to go on another day. And I didn't want to go on two separate days. I just went to Kroger. That was it. I didn't go to a separate store. And if I would have gone to Aldi, that would have increased my grocery budget. So I'm just going to stick to one store a week overall. Okay. Number five, I may be shopping less often. I know the items our family goes through quite a bit and what we always like to have on, in stock. For example, Eggs would be something that we always like to have on hand. We do seem to go through eggs quite frequently. Almond milk seems to be something else. Yogurt, that would be another item off the top of my head. So being aware of items that we run through, and if I could keep extra, I may be able to skip several days before shopping. And I've started to kind of do that. And honestly, waiting just even a couple days doesn't make that big of a difference. It's not like we're running out of food. I have a lot of food here. Okay, so shopping less often. Okay, last but not least, and some of you didn't know what this is, but when I do shop at Aldi, I sometimes love all the what I call Aldi finds or special buys. Items that Aldi only has perhaps that week. And it's something new that I've never seen before. So it's interesting. It may be something holiday. It may be a specialty flavor. And I'm like, oh, this looks cool. Well, the good news is I haven't been buying as much of that stuff lately. And the reason why is because it's really overpriced. So 
I just haven't been buying it as much. Anyway, these are the six things that we are going to be implementing in 2023. I'll let you know how that's going. And in the next few weeks, I'm going to let you know what we spent in 2022 on groceries. And I have to say so far, it hasn't been that much more than the previous year considering inflation because I had some really good months where I did really well with my budget, which made up for some of the not so good months. So I will be sharing also why I'm increasing my budget and it's not due to inflation. It's another reason. So I will chat with you guys later. Are you making any changes to your 2023 grocery budget? I want to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you, I appreciate you, and I hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.